In a recent interview, Kelly Clarkson uncovered a major secret regarding her ACM performance, Scrooge the Universe. Our goosebumps felt goosebumps when Kelly Clarkson gave the most incredible rendition of I Will Always Love You at the 57th Academy of Country Music Awards in March 2022 as a tribute to host and member of the Country Music Hall of Fame Dolly Parton. And just now, new information regarding Clarkson's incredibly emotional performance was revealed. The Kelly Clarkson Show host, 41, admitted during a frank interview with Andy Cohen for Sirius's M Town Hall that the song was actually picked out for her. Like most performers, she didn't want to sing it because it would have been challenging to compete with the late Whitney Houston and Dolly Parton, who wrote the song. Nobody wants to perform that song. You have to be Dolly Parton or Whitney Houston, Kelly said. The timing of the song, according to Clarkson, could not have been worse as she had just learned that her divorce from Brandon Blackstock was final moments before she walked the stage, in addition to having Houston and Parton's vocals to contend with. Wow, talk about timing being bad. I'm staring at Dolly Parton and I'm like, hey your divorce is official, like you've both signed, I just received my text, the former American Idol contestant said to Cohen. Say, just before taking the stage to perform I will always love you. Screw you, universe, I yelled. Is that the time frame? Cohen made a joke about wanting to perform since you've been gone or anything similar on stage. Nevertheless, despite the, shall we say, unusual timing, Clarkson managed to deliver a great performance that even caught the eye of Sometimes I Cry singer Chris Stapleton. Kelly claims that he texted her to congratulate her on her performance and that she took a picture of the text message because she is such a big fan. Kelly claimed that it left her on cloud nine for like a week, and she continued, I just felt really special that someone I admire and have admired for years, even before he came on the scene in a big way, on a song that no artist wants to do, because you shouldn't. It just made me feel really good. I don't think he even knows, but that made me feel really special.